SMS has the ability to view geospatial data utilized as input and generated as solutions in the process of numerical analysis. Being able to visualize the data in different manners increases the usefulness of the modeling process. First, we will view our mesh with color fill contours, representing the water surface elevation and vectors representing the velocity. All of these settings are changed in the Display Options dialog. SMS also has a powerful tool for computing new datasets called the Data Calculator. This can be used to calculate new datasets from existing datasets. We will use the Data Calculator to create a new data set that contains the Froude number. The Froude number is calculated by dividing the velocity magnitude by the square root of gravity times water depth. This data set can be visualized just like any other data set. SMS also contains many different contouring options. We will visualize the contours for the velocity magnitude dataset. To adjust the contour options, we again use the display options dialog. For this example, we will use the linear contour method. We can also adjust the number of contours we would like to view. We can also visualize our contours using a color fill method. Let's select color fill and linear. This allows us to fill the mesh yet still see the distinct contour lines. SMS has the ability to visualize vector datasets by displaying arrows representing the direction and magnitude. The Vectors tab allows us to control the vector display options. We will use the Define Min and Max Length option. When selecting this option, then the minimum dataset magnitude will correspond to what we set as the minimum arrow length and the same for the maximum. We now see arrows representing the water current. However, the arrows are so dense in certain areas it makes it hard to visualize. We will change the display options so that we display a vector every 25 pixels to keep them from becoming too dense. Now, as we zoom in and out, the number of arrows automatically readjusts allowing us to view the vectors in more detail as we zoom in. Another visualization feature within SMS is the ability to create animations. To create an animation, select Data, Film Loop. The Film Loop setup gives us several options for our Film Loop. We will first set up a Multiple View Animation. This option creates an animation of a single time step from one rotated view to another. A viewing path is created with any number of bearing dip pairs. We can also create a flow trace animation. To create a flow trace animation, we must be in plan view. The animation will be of whatever part of the model is visible on our screen.
Another powerful tool within SMS is the ability to view functional surfaces. Functional surfaces can be used to visualize data sets as a surface with the elevation at each node being the value of the data set plus a constant offset. We'll use a new model to demonstrate functional surfaces. Functional surface options are accessed in the display options dialog. A functional surface can be displayed for a data set associated with a mesh, grid, or tin. We will select to display the functional surface for the water surface elevation data set. We have the option to use a solid color for our functional surface, or we can contour the surface. Since we are viewing waves, we will choose to contour the surface. We can also view an animation of the functional surface, using the same tools that we used previously to create animations. Another helpful visualization feature is texture mapping. Texture mapping allows you to drape an image over the top of a tin, grid, or mesh. Normally, when an image is loaded, you can only view it in plan view. However, if you use texture mapping, the image can be viewed at any angle. In Display Options, under the General tab, we can choose what we would like to drape our image over. This video has demonstrated some of the data visualization tools within SMS.